Welcome to the Zarvio Field Manager help videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to navigate the new weather feature inside Zarvio Field Manager. There are two ways to access the weather feature. First, at the very top, in the top bar, you'll see the icon that says weather. Or, under your status bar, you can go in and select the field that you wish to look at the weather for. When the field is brought up, if you scroll down, you'll notice this area that says weather and climate. And we're given sort of a four day forecast. Click in the area just under where it says weather and climate. We now have full access to all the weather information for this field. At the very top, we have our radar. This live radar will show if any rain or precipitation is coming within your area. To make this bigger, go to the top right hand corner and find the double arrows. You can navigate around the screen using your mouse or zoom in and out using the icons at the bottom. Toggle back and forth between Bing or Google Map imagery. And when precipitation is coming in, Use the information button to get a full breakdown of what the different color schemes mean. Also, in the bottom left, you'll notice that we have our rain radar, which is of course navigating the precipitation during this select time frame. To go back to the original size, click the arrows again in the top right. We now go into the rest of our field weather information. We of course have an ideal hour by hour breakdown of this field, hopefully giving the user the best idea of when they should go out and spray their field. You can also navigate the hours throughout the day. The next step below, we do have a 10 day forecast. As you can see here, we have the first six days. We can then navigate the show the remaining four. Inside here, we have information that shows number of hours of daylight that we will see, pre uh, precipitation likelihood, wind speed, the amount of precipitation that we got that day, all the information that we need in order to go out and make better decisions. As well, we can go back and actually look at the air temperature and precipitation for these fields. As you can see, as I move across these graphs, the precipitation as well as the average max and min change, as well as the daily average for these fields. There's different ways you can go about this. This right now is showing just the last five months. We can also look at in-crop season. This is based on your seeding date till your actual harvest date, or you can create a custom weather time frame. where over here on the right-hand side, you can actually put in and track the weather dates that you wanna actually go back and look at you can go back up to one full calendar year. As you can see, we're now tracking the full calendar year of this field. You'll notice here too, how this black bar says 10 years of climatology. What we've done is we've actually gone through and aggregated all the past 10 years of weather data month by month, thus giving us comparisons of both precipitation and historical data. All these tools combined will allow you to make better and more informed decisions for your field.